Hello everyone, my name is Ilir2 and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, of Crusader Kings 2 with the Win the World Stop Making Sense mod with Vasconia, soon to be, well, the Empire of Vasconia. We're going to rename Hispania, don't you worry about it, but I just like the color of yellow, I guess. I mean, it's way better than this gross pastel pink. Anyway, so in the last episode, we ex continue to expand, I guess. Um, we're very, very close, as I said, to Hispania. If I check it right now, I have 75%. If I need 80%, oh, I wish I could do the math, 80% of 58. It's a number, um, but I'm assuming that once I take over this duchy over here, I'll have enough. Actually, you know what? I mean, I could technically do it like right now. That independence war, is, is it It's 96% in favor? Screw it. Let's just declare war now. They're not going to win. Visigothia is not going to win. So I'll just go ahead, attempt to take it over now, and hopefully these four provinces will be enough. Oh, hey, look. Um, our little vassal actually took over Ebora. Nice. So uh, that border war is cleaned. But now we have to fix this gore. So they only have 4,000 men. That's good. Luckily, we can just raise as many people as we want. So raise all of them up. Uh, a new duchy has been created. Oh, shit. You know what? Giving him three lands? Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, someone's trying to kill me. Yay. Oh, golly. Always fun. Hey, can you um not kill that dude? Please. No, I can't demand anything from you. Great. Alright, that little army got crushed. I don't care, because that was just like 50 men. So all these guys combined will go, probably go and smash... Actually, no. Let's not smash their army yet. Let's go down here and take over the war goal, the war goal first. The Henotikon, the emperor in the east, seeking peace with the wayward Monophysites, passed an edict of union between the two churches. His attempt of the Emperor to seize control of the church power has raised has raised anger throughout the Christian world. Even the Pope has condemned the uh, actions of the Emperor, and it seems that this may explode into great controversy. I have no idea what the Hentotikon is, but I'd like to see something explode. Especially if it's um, non eurocratic and of course they are Christian. It seems as though, yeah, Italia... Italia and yeah, all of Italy is going to stay Hellenic. Italia and Anno Nor on Northern Italy is uh, both ruled by Roman Hellenics. Wait, wait, is Italy ru ruled by Romans? Yes, yeah, Roman Hellenics. So the Roman Empire, in reality, is not dead. I mean, hell, Eastern Rome still exists, and Western Rome. Western Roman Empire still exists for some reason. Uh, but you know, whatever. All right, so let's get this army down here, actually. Oh, there's a new defensive pact against me. Great. Always good to see the uh, lessers trying to fight back against me. It's always cute. All right, and we'll take all that over. So all that is mine now. Yeah, only 92% in favor. You guys, I don't know. You guys are just frustrating me right now. Ooh, 1,200. I mean, we could technically attack. We do have more than double. More than double. Uh, not more than double, I mean more than um, 10 times as many men. So it's always safe. It's safe if you do more than 10 times as many men. You won't, you'll won't. you only lose a couple hundred that way. Fun fact. Uh, please be charitable. Good. Wait, no, he's greedy. Great. I mean, okay, greedy isn't the worst thing. It just means I'll make more money uh, when he becomes king. Rodrigo the fifth. Actually, since it'll become an empire, I believe he'll be Rodrigo II. Because since it's an empire, it'll be a different title. I don't know. It's kind of stupid. You know, I'm just going to salt this area as well. Doesn't matter if I lose men. Most of them are my vassals men anyways. All right, and there you go. He will surrender. So, do I have enough? Well, I need to actually get some kingdoms first. But do I have enough? Yes! 82%. So, I just need 400 piety, which I, I, I only need five more. And I need a kingdom. So let's... Or another kingdom, I mean. Let's lower that. Let's go ahead and make Castile. Because Castile is a titular title. 
And there you go, the Empire of Hispania. We need... Oh, shit, we just lost a ton of piety. Right, because we formed the, the Kingdom of Castile. Yeah, that would make sense. Alright, but all this land needs to go away. Who... Oh, who can we give it away to? How about my one-year-old son? That makes sense, right? A one-year-old getting control of multiple lands. Right. Right. Uh, let's... We need to give away a couple of lands here. So... Wait, is this... This is in du jour. Yeah, okay. So, we'll split that in half. So, two go to him. And two can go... Can I give it to my daughter? No, she can get temple, but not anything else. A temple, but not anything else. Okay. So... Can I find any... Ugh, crap. I'm gonna have to go through my... Very distant family, it seems. Alright, let's check this. Any sons? No, nope, wrong dynasty. Son? Hey, you're a kinsman. Alright, kinsman. There you go. Take that over. And Soria. Awesome. And good. Cool. I do have dangerous factions, unfortunately. Well, they are losing power over time. Maybe... Oh, there you go. Another son was born, and that uh, completes my ambition of five children. Cool. I'm known as the Sword, uh, the sword of Amalur. Am Amalur? Amalur? Who cares? You know, let's do the command and army thing just so I can gain a bit more prestige. There you go. Cool. And... See the Rome prosper. Eh. Befriend, befriend a priest. Sure. Why not? Uh, I don't know what kind of priest I'm going to befriend, but who cares? Let's erect the megalith to the Masconic faith. Yes, 100 piety, and can I become... Let's see, the megalith you can mission has been finished and raised on the spot you chose for it. Its religious motives treats... Motive treats of the uh, Masconic pantheon of gods and will be another step towards affirming religion as a central part of the realm. Cool. So for two more years, get more bit more piety. Come on, be zealous. Damn it. All right, cool. Well, that 100 piety is really going to help Torres forming the Empire. I see some diseases are taking place. Yeah, a huge smallpox epidemic in southern Iberia. Please do not spread into my land. Innkeeper, bring us the best you have to offer. Best food? Food and wine? Cool, I don't care. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that happened. Someone actually managed to assassinate me. Are you kidding me? I've, I'll be honest, I've never actually had anyone successfully kill me with manure. Well, manure explosion. Shit. I could reload the save. Oh, no. Well, at least he was caught. He was murdered on the order of Chief Muno of Badajoz. Well known to be charitable, he freely gave his money to his friends and family. A godly man, Rodrigo, is with Yurgruska now. Oh, no. Who's my, uh, regent? My kinsman! Who is my uncle? He's 72! My lunatic-possessed, one-handed uncle. Or, kinsman, actually. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is not gonna end well. I think I should reload the save. Oh, no. I just want to form the Empire, and he doesn't have enough piety to form the Empire, so give me one second, guys. Alright, so I reloaded the last save back in January of 580. The war still has not ended, sadly, so I'm gonna have to redo giving away all that land. But I think I want to go into hiding. How was he not caught? You know what? My spy master only has 33 relations with me. Let's send him a nice gift. Give him an honorary title. Uh, no, I cannot. Huh. Alright, but uh, will you end the war? Yes, yes, you will. Cool. Come on. Come on. There you go. 
All right, and oh, we still have to build the kingdoms too. Damn. Damn, why do they have to kill me? Uh, can I go into hiding? Go into hiding. Fine. The trait in hiding decreases my diplomacy. My prestige decreases as well. That's okay. My wife is now my regent. She's 20. Wow, 20 uh, stewardship. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, so let's give away my land. All right, so my son... All right, he gets those territories. And then it was my kinsman. A far, far away land, you. You get the other two counties. Jesus, I, I actually did not expect to get assassinated. But since I'm in hiding now, they almost certainly can't attack me. Uh, all right, and I am the son. My son is a lunatic, but he's zero years old. How are you just born a lunatic? That doesn't really make much sense, but whatever. Uh, right, so just find a hobby, I guess. Um, I need to uh, erect the megalith. Oh, I can't be in hiding. Here, uh, come out of hiding for just a second. Just erect the megalith, the Masconic Faith. Praise, yes, praise. And go back into hiding. I can't go back into hiding. Oh. Shit. Well, hopefully I don't die. Alright, but I need to rebuild the Kingdom of Castile. Let's just save the game here, just in case someone decides to assassinate me. Seriously, can, can you guys not assassinate me right now? Please. Send everyone a nice gift basket. Everyone in my, uh, not court, but everyone in my, um, uh, council, I mean. Everyone in my council gets a nice gift basket. Please don't kill me. Uh-oh, from some time now, my wife has been avoiding me. She has not visited my bedchamber for several weeks. When I have demanded to know why, she has given me nothing but feeble excuses. Today, I overheard a couple of her servants gossiping. They say, Naola has contracted syphilis. Oh. Well. Oh. Well, you're under arrest. You're a traitor. Uh, yeah. I guess that event happened twice for some reason. Could I execute her? No. Could I arrange a divorce? Yeah, I'd have to spend 200 gold. Fuck that. Alright, a new steward. Let's get you there. Can I go back into hiding, please? Please let me go back into hiding. The disease is... Yeah, smallpox is spreading quite nicely. Mercia got attacked by some raiders? No, again, it's the game's glitching out thinking that the Mauritanian province, the Mauritanian land is my land. Still don't know why. Uh, my uncle or kinsman. Yeah, no, my uncle has secluded himself in his own court. Oh boy. Oh golly. You know what? Let's get some more loyal people as my, uh, in my council. Definitely do not want any of them uh, killing me. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Spymaster, could you please, please find out who's trying to kill me? You know, I actually do know who it was, but I can't arrest him without proof. Of course, I have no proof. How do I increase my piety? Oh, you know what? I could just do some, like, uh, sacrifice of black goats. Yay, 100 piety. There you go. Now, finally... We create the Empire of Hispania. Lose 471 gold, 400 piety. But there we go. So I'm now Emperor Rodrigo. So he will be Rodrigo II. And there you go. Hispania is now a thing. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Not Hispania. <laughs> it's Vasconia. Vasconia. And the adjective is obviously Vasconic. Cool, there you go. It's the Empire of Asconia. Hmm. Now what do I do? Oh, my family's prestige is now at 708, since we have that held empire. That's very nice. I can also get a ton of kingdoms under my land. Why can't I create them? I need a lot more piety. All right, piety. Uh, let's hold another celebration, or hold a celebration in general. Do a great sacrifice to the gods. I have plenty of money. 
Screw everyone for not coming. All right, yes, ew. And that was good stuff, gained a bit of prestige and piety. My son, let's be gregarious. Yay, gregarious son. Hooray, gregarious son. Gained a bit more piety. While reciting a hymn to Sh Sugar, you suddenly forgot several words and stumbled on a line or two of the holy verse. Oh, that's bad. He's not good. He's very not good. I will right, continue on. Uh, delicious foods. The blood of sacrifice of animals for glory and honor. Holy water for the luck. Um. Tax, morale of armies. Let's just do taxes for now. My son, be brave or diligent, please. You're proud. Yep, that's 22% chance, but you become proud. Yep, that makes sense. And there you go, the end of the ceremony. Cool. My mother has died bedridden and infirm. How incredibly sad. She's Pelagian. Really? Wait, were you two not married? Oh, wait, she was a concubine. Right, I'm the child of a concubine. Oh, God. Yeah, look at all well, look at all my children. Of concubines, nonetheless. Let's get another one, because for some reason I only have two concubines. I can actually take one that's my prisoner. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? I still have my uh kinsman as a concubine. That's always fucked up. Can I not be ill, please? Thank you. Alright, Chief Diviner. By the way, my diviner should probably be divining right now. So go divine this place. Yep, 8.44% chance. Cool. We have a new duchy. My mother-in-law was offered in sacrifice. You see, that's what happens when you're a Celt. You get sacrificed by the uh, to the ancestors. Mm -hmm. See, wifey, that's what happens. Oh, I forgot my wife is a cheater. She's incapable, a lunatic, and has great pox, and is in prison. Oh, dear God, what did I do to my wife? <laughs> Just because she has syphilis. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and she died in prison. Well, time to get a new wife. Jesus. All right. Uh, you, my concubine, can become my wife. Cool. And time to get another concubine then. Um, t -t -t the 19-year-old. Makes sense. Invite to plots. We'd like to ba uh, fabricate a claim on the duchy. Yeah, I'm not going to get in on that. Uh, let's visit the grave, her grave. Lover's memento, yay! I will cherish it and cherish it until the day I die. Well, I mean, to be fair though, she did cheat on me, so maybe I shouldn't. But whatever. Uh, does this revolt? Wow, that revolt has shrunk. We're down to ninety-two percent. Visigothia has retaken all this land. I mean, technically, it's all my de jure land now, so I don't even need to declare a holy war, but I still will. Oh, you're in jail. Oh, you're imprisoned by me, right. And you're a lunatic. And you're absent-minded. You were just a horrible, horrible person, Archpriest. You were just very not good. Rome. I could technically attack Rome, or attack Italy for Rome. I don't know why Rome is a holy area for the Basque, but whatever. I mean, I thought it would all be in Iberia, but apparently it's also in Aquitaine and Rome. But whatever, you know, who needs that? The white stag, yeah, I'll go out to find it. I can imprison this dude. Why? He's my rival. It's only 25% chance. What, what is he doing? Someone's trying to fabricate a claim on his land, but, you know, whatever. Whatever, I'll ignore it. Probably get assassinated, though. Probably will. Alright, uh, and now, okay, so what do we do now, right? We have formed an empire of Asconia. We've beaten down the, the Visigoths. We've essentially united Iberia. Conquer Rome? I mean, conquering Rome would be very easy, to be honest. Pop through Honoria, then Italia. Hmm. I'll be honest, I didn't think I'd get this far. Yes, 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 be happy. Be happy, my son. Prince Rodrigo. Uh, screw that trade route. Not gonna spend 200 gold. Uh, okay, but I guess I could just 
form some more kingdoms for now. Maybe give away... I mean, I can give away some of these kingdoms. They aren't the largest kingdoms. This kingdom isn't large at all. Seriously. Oh, and a dangerous faction. Yay! Gavelkind succession? Hell no. I did not go through all this work just to get Gavelkind. I can't believe I'm on high crown authority, too. That's very good. <laughs> very good. Um, you know what? Oh, I was about to say feudal levies should be higher, but we can't do that yet. Legalism has to be level 7. Damn. Yeah, that's not going to happen. At least not anytime soon. Why am I not gaining enough money? I don't know. I just feel like I haven't been gaining the same amount of money I always have been, you know? It's weird. Still, oh, I can imprison another dude. You know, I think... Weren't you the one who assassinated me? No, just everyone's trying to assassinate each other, fabricate claims on each other. You know, the usual. Hm, weird. Alright, you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so... Vasconia is finally united as an empire. The Vascans have truly proven ourselves to be more powerful than anyone else in Europe. Hell, even the East Roman Empire. The Romans have fallen, but we have risen. I'll be honest, the Irish, the Irish, Irish, Irish have... are huge. I mean, look at them. They're spreading their... their religion is secured up there. What is this? Insular... Yeah, Christians are getting pushed out. The Celts are surviving. Very odd. Alright, you know what? Uh, but, uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya too, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.